Greetings. So, just uh, yeah, I had an anniversary with the wife yesterday, Friday, today Sunday, on Friday, and in her all all of her amazing wonderfulness, she got me a new set of levers for the Street Glide. Excuse the bugs. What? Still haven't washed it from that uh, Ellensburg ride, but we're gonna pop those guys off. It's just the stalkers, nothing fancy. And we got did that glare off of there. Got them in black. So there's the part number. I'll throw a link to these up in the, the description. So it should be pretty quick, pretty easy with minimal tools. Actually, if I'm looking at this right, should just need one of these little flat heads here because I don't have one of those uh, circlip, C-clip pliers. And plus it's really tiny. So if we can, oh, you might see it there. Just a little C-clip, pop that off, pull this pin up and this should slide off on both sides because since mine's a 19, I got hydraulic on both sides. So it'd be a little bit different if we were doing them here because you know, I got to feed this clutch cable through and all that noise. But with those, those master, cil master cylinders just have a little button that the levers press against to activate. So should be pretty quick and easy. And I got to admit, I didn't realize how much I fiddled with either of these bikes until I started making videos for you people. You're a bad influence and I love it. So let's go ahead and pop these open. As we know, I'm impatient, so I've already cut the tape. There we go. Yeah, that, that's gonna look good. And before anybody asks, the levers that are coming off are already promised to somebody else. My buddy who dropped his heritage two and a half months ago did kind of put a smile to his, one of his levers. I think it was his clutch lever. But, so we're gonna have to take a look and see. I think my takeoffs will work on his. We'll find out the hard way because that's how I learn. So I'm going to kind of get things set up, put you on a tripod and see if we can't knock this out real quick. So let's get tripod. Who needs the right tool when you've got brute strength? I don't recommend that. So, just gonna wiggle the lever while we pull this pin up. Just try to walk the lever out. Hopefully. Hopefully I don't have to loosen up that clamshell. I have no idea what I'm doing here. All right, unfortunately it looks like we're gonna have to loosen up that clamshell, so hold on.
Snug up these T27s again. There we go. Woo! Almost threw that on a saddlebag. Would have been a good excuse to go and order some Advan bags, though. I know those stretch bags are kind of the the new hotness right now, but I just don't like them. You know, I know a lot of people really groove on them, but uh, I definitely prefer the look of my standard bags, personally, over whoa, stretch bags. So it'd be kind of cool, I think, if Advan would start offering one of their uh, kits to, you know, like a body color swap kit with non-stretched side panels and non-stretched tank covers for those of us who don't want the stretched look. But hey, for all I know, they're working on it and they just haven't gotten to it and I'm being impatient. Make sure this is set for on. Be very careful because these are small. The last thing you want to do is strip one of these out. Unfortunately, I'm going to cut the camera here. All right, so apparently what I had done is I got everything all snugged up and the lever here was binding. So I had to take it all apart, start over, and I wasn't going to make all of you suffer with that. So got it all squared away. I think I got my mirrors aligned. So I'm going to pull the lever up, make sure all the holes line up and drop our pin back in. There we go. And go back to fighting this little C-clip. So hopefully I can get it back in without losing it in a similar fashion that I used to take the damn thing off. I have no idea. Basically, I'm just gonna try to walk it around. Kinda like what we did on the, the bracket for the headers when we had to say the little retaining ring just popped one side on and walked it around whether or not this will work I have no idea and I know my fingers are all up in your way if I can't get this to work without swearing at it too much then we'll just check back when it's done
Hey, there we go. And did it with no tools in hand. It actually just popped right in there by walking it around. All right. So, just go ahead and pop you off the tripod here. There we go. That's a black lever. We got black there. Chrome here. Chrome. Black. I think that's going to look way more better. So I'm going to go ahead and get the other one done. It's a wash, rinse, and repeat process. Because again, everything's uh, hydraulic. So uh, give me a couple of minutes. We'll pop that on there and we'll show you the after. Okay, so that's not fair. So I went over to do the clutch side. And as soon as I pulled that pin, this went bloop, came right out. Didn't have to screw with the clamshells or nothing. New one in, pin in, circlip on, done. It's just not fair. Not fair. But on the other hand, at least, at least the other one was easy. So let's come around here. That, that looks so much nicer than those kind of chrome off chrome polished aluminum, whatever it is that you want to call them. But that, that just works so much better with the, the black grips, the switch housings, the reservoir. I will be swapping out the mirrors. I am going to probably go with the adversary collection. They're all black and kind of have like a, a milled center edge cut in this same orange. Because it's all the same, same uh, collection. But uh, I, I think that's going to look sharp. I just, it's like 200 some odd bucks. So... Needless to say, taint doing it yet. So, but yeah, the ones that came off, as most Harleys have, it's just, what a difference. God, just, that is so much cleaner. It's one of those little things that, you know, unless you've done it or you're looking for it, you're not even gonna notice that it's done. But I'm definitely grooving on it. You know, I like that those are black with the black grips and the black housing these are chromish chromish grips chrome housing i will swap that out still if i can find a slightly more affordable option because harley wants stupid money and dennis kirk's got a set they're a lot more reasonable but still expensive so it will happen likely i just don't know when yet so uh like i said these levers i'm gonna go down to my buddy i don't know if they'll work for him because like I said, he's got a cable clutch and this doesn't look like it will accept a cable clutch unless you can punch that little bracket out. And I have no idea if you can or not. So I guess we'll all find out together and you can all laugh at me because some of you are thinking, no way in hell is going to fit you, dumbass. I don't know. Let's find out. We'll find out together and we can all laugh at me. So that's all I've got. Uh, these two are going to get a bath because... It's, it's unfortunately getting to be about that time of year up here in the Pacific Northwest. So anyway, take care. We'll catch y'all next time. Later.